Thank you. Thank you very much. Showtime. For the top bolt, I'm going to use an extension on the six millimeter. That was tight. take the caliper bolts out these happen to be the same size but I just like to do top bottom and then I'll get the caliper a little bit of a wiggle and then you don't really want it hitting there so what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the caliper and I'm twisting it towards me and what's happening there is it's opening up the brake pads and that's saving me from having to open it up. So you can see I've opened them up a little. This is a tool that I use for opening them up and it is from a 19, don't quote me, a 1968 Jaguar. <laughs> and you can just pop it in and then twist them and the pistons go all the way back in. So if you now have a look at your brake reservoir, you should see that the fluid is near, has gone up a bit, yeah? Correct. So I'm now gonna take the front wheel off the motorcycle. So although you have a spindle going through, this side of the spindle, which undoes, is being held in place by two pinch pins, which are six millimeter. And you can see that there's a split right here so right at the bottom of the, if you've got two pinch pins, they're not particularly tight. If you over tighten them, you can end up getting cracks here and here. So I'm just going to undo them. This is six mil. They're usually not the most tightest in the world. There okay, go, that's one starting to undo. Make sure you get it right in. Push it right in. And I'm just doing it on a 3.8. And there you go. It should be that easy to undo them. They really aren't that tight. <clears throat> if you if you find if you over tighten them, you can end up cracking here, and then things get bloody dangerous. And that's it. This side loosened off nicely. Hmm. Now there are pinch pins on the other side, and I don't usually undo them. And the reason mm. I don't undo them is because they're holding the other side of the spindle. It's like a <clears throat> this part of the spindle is quite long and then there's a short piece and if I undo the other side the short piece gets loose oh. so as I start to undo this one that one rotates and I can't get the spindle out 
Okay, so two pinch pins. Mm. There's your other side of the spindle, and I'm not going to undo these pinch pins. A lot of people make the mistake of undoing them. What will happen is this part here will rotate, the entire spindle will rotate, and I'll never get it undone. So you don't actually have to undo this side. So I'm removing the pinch pins now. You can see there's a little bit of corrosion on them. You'd be a little bit corroded if this is where you lived on a motorcycle. Mm. So again, a little bit of corrosion that's to be expected. But uh, one thing you're not seeing, and this is by the manufacturer, you're not seeing any lubrication and you're not seeing any Loctite on here. Mm. And that is exactly how I'm going to put it back in. I don't see any green, red or blue Loctite. And I definitely don't see any lubrication. Mm. So no matter how much you want to do it, do not, because the manufacturer has decided after their <laughs> billions and billions of dollars of education, so I'm now going to undo the spindle. So I've loosened off this side of the bike, 22 mil. I'm just going to put my socket in. This is going to be fairly tight. Impact gun, because... We just used an impact gun to undo it. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. That's the sort of power we needed. very fine thread so you'll notice that it takes a while to undo what does that mean fine lots of thread <laughs> You see there's corrosion on the end of it? Mm, yeah. That's probably what was stopping us. And out comes the wheel. On the wheel are what's called spacers. So these here, this is a dust seal, and then there'll be an oil seal, and you can see the bearing behind there. The whole point of this spacer is to fit in. It also aids against uh, dust getting in and stuff like that. But, you know, it's there to just kind of steady things. Um, so they're going to get cleaned up. See, it's a little bit dirty. And there'll be one on the other side. Well, thank you for watching. Um, how interesting is that to dis disassemble the front wheel procedures, the steps? It is, I mean, it's just, it looks really good. And um, how the front wheel comes about in uh, 2015, for the generation, and that looks kind of super well. That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. The way we The little rascal has spirit as was it? This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.
That is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Mm -hmm.